Today I'm going to show you how to get this Travis Scott movie. I'm Dre and this is 3 Minute Thursday where just like the name, I have just 3 minutes to teach y'all whatever you want to learn. Today's filter is a remake of one of my most viral TikToks and is definitely one of my most requested filters. So before we start, if you want a shortcut or are simply struggling to replicate this filter, the preset file for the tutorial along with my full collection of presets is now available on my website under the everything pack and this bundle is updated with new presets all the time. So once you purchase it, you'll get all the presets on my web store and each time I drop a new preset, the link that you have will be updated at no extra charge and you'll be able to download and use these new presets forever. Also, if you move fast and use code 50 off at checkout, you'll receive 50% off your full order of presets and it is limited to the first 50 people. Now that that's out of the way, let's get three minutes on the clock and get started. Today, I'm not only gonna show you how to edit like Travis, but also be showing you how to shoot and light your photos for the best results with this preset. Yeah, I know most of his pictures were shot on film, but trust me, unless you're his photographer himself, then my filter is the next best thing. But if you want some proof, I'll go ahead and pop up these two pictures. Without cheating, can you guess which one is the original and which one is the one that's edited with my preset? Comment down below your guess and I'll make sure to reveal the answer at the end of the video. Now, just looking at this picture here, we can see it's a nighttime photo, but Travis is also very well lit. Meaning that if we're gonna be editing nighttime pictures, it's very important that they're shot with the flash. And if you weren't planning on editing nighttime pictures, but a daytime one, don't you worry, this preset works perfectly with daytime photos too. So as long as our image is well shot, we should be good. But now it's time to shoot, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab the stuff that I need so I can get myself a picture to edit. So I just finished shooting plenty of pictures and now it's time for me to go through them and find the one to edit. I would do that on video, but I don't really wanna bore you. So we're just gonna edit this one. This is the pic that we're gonna be editing today. And the app that I'm gonna be using to edit is Adobe Lightroom Mobile. It's 100% free and accessible for iOS and Android. So whether you have a phone, an iPad, or a tablet, you can follow along. Once we have our app open and our picture is imported, we have plenty of different tabs to start, but in my opinion, it's always best to start with the light tab. And one thing that I always like to let you know is that your settings might not be exactly the same as mine, and that's because there's no way that our pictures were taken with the same exact lighting. So for this first tab, instead of trying to copy the exact numbers, just try to keep a similar look to mine. After tweaking a few settings in the light tab, this is what we're looking at, and the next step is going into curves. So here we're gonna do what I do on most of my pictures, which is make this almost S-like curve, and what this does is add some more contrast, as well as add that nice film like fade. From here, it's now time to move on to the color tab. You're gonna wanna grab the temp slider and go ahead and drag it a decent amount to the right. I, I personally have mine at plus 35, but once again, it doesn't have to be the exact same number. Next is tint. We're going a little bit over to the right. Then add 11 points of vibrant and take down your saturation by eight. Now from here, we're going into the grading tab. Just like our last few sliders, we're gonna see a ton of changes in this area. So go ahead, pause the video and copy these settings. Once you're done that, we're gonna open up the mix tab. We're only gonna tweak a few settings in very slightly in the reds next into the orange finally the blues now right now you could call it a day and stop here but you know on this channel we got to make it perfect so add a tad bit of texture and to finish it off my favorite the grain here's the before and after picture and as you can see this transformation was insane if you followed along did you get similar results to me if so let me know in the comments and if you didn't and struggled once again you can download the preset along with the rest of my presets over on my website and that's for the challenge i gave y'all at the beginning of the video where i had y'all guess which one was the original and which one was edited with my filter and the first one was edited by me so let me know did you get this right and if you enjoyed this travis scott filter and want any more make sure to check out this video here where i show you how to get this viral brent phase filter in under three minutes using only your phone. Make sure to subscribe, hit that post notification bell, and as always,